Yo, what is going on guys? My name is PK and today, as you can see in front of you, we finally, and I really do mean finally, after months of waiting, have gotten ourselves a Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box, but not just one, I was actually able to grab two. Now, I cannot tell you how badly I have wanted to open up one of these bad boys. That Charizard V promo inside is absolutely gorgeous. I am so, so happy to finally get my hands on one. If you guys are excited for today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button as we are on the road to 1,000 sub runes, and consider hitting that like button as well because it really helps the video out. Yeah, with that being said, let's just go ahead and crack on into this. Now, like I said, we've literally been waiting, or I guess not we, but I have been waiting months, months, because I just refuse to pay $100 for this for this ETB. Like, I just, I refuse it. I, I won't do it. I literally just won't do it. But I have never even seen one of these in person before, and oh my gosh, this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i know i'm super <laughs> super late on the bandwagon but i don't even care i don't even care it's worth the wait in my opinion so hopefully the pulls hopefully the pulls will be good because that'll kind of that'll kind of make this box even better so here we go i'm sure you guys have seen this plenty of times before but i have yet to open one of these up myself so i'm just gonna kind of roll through it nice and slow we've got the uh, the typical stuff we've got the rule book our burn and poison counters are absolutely amazing die. Look at look at this one. This one's gorgeous. The black and orange just looks so well together. We've got our cool little card dividers, also gorgeous. And yep. Oh, I did. Oh, I should have handled that better. Oopsie. But here it is. Here's our boy. Before we take a look at it, it doesn't look too shabby actually. The centering is pretty good. Not gonna lie, it's actually pretty solid. The front. Front, front looks a little a little iffy, but actually it's really nice. I'm definitely gonna keep this one sealed. We've got our code card for all the code card goblins out there. And our beautiful sleeves would we'll definitely be busting these bad boys open and using them today. Let's get those ready right there. And here it is, the main course. What we all are here for. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs of Champion's Path. Now, uh, for those of you who are longtime viewers of this channel, you may know that Champion's Path has not been kind to us, not in the slightest, but that's okay. That's all right, we're just gonna kinda uh, ignore that. We're not gonna talk about it, and we're just gonna enjoy today's openings. So let's go ahead and crack in to pack number one. Now, I've, some of you may have noticed, but I've actually changed the, uh, the camera angle a little bit. I was able to get myself a brand new arm from my desk. Sorry, I had to, had to think about that for a second, but uh, I got myself a brand new arm, and it's made recording videos so much easier. Like, I, I think this angle works a lot better. Oops. My, uh, I have more room for my microphone now. I think it I think it looks a lot better. So uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if you guys had noticed or not, but I wanted to bring that to light. Starting things off with a Marnie holographic. Now, I mean, if, we, if we're talking realistically with how this set has been treating us, I mean, we do, can't we can't just ignore it. We're, I'm just hoping for like one full art. I, I mean, I, I don't even wanna like, yeah. We're just gonna kinda leave it at that. I don't wanna ask for too much, cause clearly, Clearly this set uh, is not very giving, uh, so so hopefully we get a little something in this uh, in this ETB. It's been very long awaited, so it would be very nice to get something cool. We got the weird diluted fire energy. Oh my goodness! And a back to back Marnie. Now I do apologize if you guys hear any uh, any noise in the background. All of my family is here right now, and uh, yeah, they they don't they're not very good at being being quiet <laughs> they're they're very loud people so i do apologize if you hear any hoot hooting and hollering in the background but here we go nick it inke roly coly reverse volpix eh, and obstagoon we have not pulled anything spectacular yet but that's fine because we've still got seven packs to go we're still fresh in this you know we're still early on we got plenty of time no need to start worrying now one two three four to the front and let's see what we can get now have you guys uh have you guys heard about the brand new uh special set that's going to be the equivalent to shiny star v uh the we got a name release a name reveal galarian cursula v so i've actually pulled quite a few of these but still very nice but uh yeah the brand new set has actually been given a name and it's shining fates now let me know down in the comments guys what do you think about that because in my personal opinion it sounds 
the name just sounds very lazy and it just seems very uncreative like like they took two of the most popular sets and just kind of kind of mashed the names together with shining legends and hidden fates and you know i get it they're kind of just rolling with the popularity of those sets but like geez that was just it just doesn't sound good to me and of course we got the machamp this is not looking too bright but it's all right we'll keep pushing but uh yeah the the name the name just kind of gets me man let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below i really want to know will you guys be uh will you guys be picking up any of that set uh i think i definitely will try and get my hands on some but i'm honestly not gonna be too worried about it especially because it just seems to be uh seems to be pretty much exactly the same as shiny star v and i know it's you know shiny star v is japanese this will be the english set but i don't know i just don't know how to feel about it we'll see uh we'll see what happens when we get there but like i said i'll definitely try and pick up a few packs or boxes or whatever is available man our poles are looking pretty dry the only thing we've gotten so far is the galarian curse of the let's see if we can bring it back here we ha we usually have some some pretty good last pack magic so let's see if we can keep that mojo going reverse rotom bike and a grapple locked v all right so again one we've pulled quite a few times but that's okay we'll take what we can get <laughs> Here we go. We got uh, three packs left to go. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I hope you guys are enjoying all these code cards. <laughs> yeah, these fancy little code cards. Maybe somebody will pull the uh, one of the Charizards online. If you do, please let me know. I would love to know because that, I mean, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be awesome if someone got it. We got Reverse Lycanroc and a Hatterene Hollow. Coming down to the last two packs, as always. It, it always comes down to the wire. So I have no idea when my camera stopped recording, but that's all right because we didn't miss anything spectacular. Jeez, man, I really got to figure that out. We've got reverse Swablu. Oh, and a rainbow Pierce again, one we have already pulled, but at least this is some fire. We actually got something decent in this box. So, so, okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. And just like that, it is down to the last pack. I really don't know how much, uh, I guess I won't know until post, or I guess till I edit, but I have no idea how much of, uh, how much of this box got cut out. I didn't notice that my camera stopped recording. Oh my goodness, I hate it. I hate it so much. All right, let's see what we can finish our very first Champion's Path ETB on. Um, well, whenever I see these, it's kind of like a sign. It's like you're not gonna get anything else, so. Let's see what we've got. Oh, and a scrappy hollow. Alrighty guys, so that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. As always, if you enjoyed, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Really helps out the channel and we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. So let's see if we can get there. You guys have really been killing it with the support recently. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.